I too suffer from the boat affliction, but I'm okay with that. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today's Huge Fly Fisherman video is about drift boats and rafts and the differences between them. Yes, drift boats definitely look a lot cooler than rafts, but there's more to it than that. If you've been wondering which type of boat is right for you, then hit pause right now, go grab a beer, and let's do this. First, I want to take a moment for a couple plugs. You can go to hugeflyfisherman.com and buy all kinds of Huge Fly Fisherman gear. Also, you can check out my other channel at special.tv where you can watch all of my videos with no ads and there are some videos that are exclusive over there and you can't watch them on YouTube. If you get a moment, check it out. So you wanna do the boat thing, huh? Tired of stumbling around in the river drinking warm backpack beer? Well, good on you. It's time to grow up. But there's gonna be a long road ahead of you. You're gonna to have to learn about trailers and bearings, boat snacks, boat dogs. You'll probably need to learn how to row the boat without sinking it also. And I'm gonna warn you right now, you're gonna come down with a heavy case of boat syndrome. You'll only want to fish from a boat. You'll get fat and lazy like me. You just gotta learn to accept it and be happy with who you are. Also, you should watch my videos about boat ramp etiquette and floating etiquette. Before we really get into this, I wanna take a moment to address safety. Boating can be a dangerous activity and it should not be taken casually. When you let your guard down, things can happen and it usually happens pretty quickly. Please just be safe. All right, let's start with rafts because that's what I row and that's what I know best. I row a raft because I'm usually in rocky rivers and when I'm not fishing, I'm hauling a lot of people or gear. Rafts are good for all of that. A raft is more forgiving than a drift boat when you hit a rock. Not if you hit a rock, but when. Yes, you can pop a rubber raft by hitting a rock. I've done it, but it is generally better to hit a rock in a raft than in a hard boat. By hard boat, I mean drift boat. It's just a cool way to say it. If you hit a rock in a drift boat, the impact is gonna be much more violent and you might put a hole in the boat. A hole in a rubber raft can be repaired on site. Not so much with a hard boat. I do a lot of boating that isn't really fishing related. I'm doing family floats and multi-day overnights. A raft is the right boat for me. If you're looking to cram more butts or more beer or more whatever in your boat, then a raft is better than a drift boat. You can carry way more stuff, mostly beer. If you're looking to get a raft for fishing, it's probably gonna be 13 or 14 feet long if you wanna have a rower and two anglers, which is pretty typical. One of the coolest things about rafts and raft frames is that they are endlessly customizable and you can trick your boat out with a lot of cool stuff. I got a couple videos on how my boats are set up. Check those out. You can put whatever doodads and thingamajiggies on your raft that you want. It's much harder to do on a drift boat. Before we start talking about drift boats, let's do today's pro tip. Who wants a pro tip? Today's pro tip is get good oars. Oars are like the tires on your car. Don't skimp. Your oars are your only connection to the river. Make them count. I happen to like cataract oars. They're fine pieces of equipment. And should you get shoal cut blades? Yes, definitely. All right, well, if rafts are so cool, then what's so great about a drift boat? Fishing. A drift boat is way better for fishing than a raft. They're lighter, they're more maneuverable, and because of that, they're easier to row. A drift boat is like a high-end sports car, like maybe a 1997 Mazda Miata. And a raft is a grocery getter, like the Griswolds family truckster. Drift boats are generally drier than a raft. There's less chance you'll get your loafers wet in a drift boat than a raft. So Richard from Houston, you're getting a drift boat. Oh, who am I kidding? You hire guides every time you fish. Anyway, drift boats will keep your passengers drier. So if you want to list professional fly fishing guide in your Instagram bio, get a drift boat so your sports don't mess up their shoes. Drift boats come in different styles. There's the traditional dory style with a high bow and stern and high gunnels. These drift boats can handle some big water and big waves, and they aren't bad to fish from. On the other end of the spectrum is a skiff style drift boat. I'm not talking about those skiffs with motor shades and bow spoilers and shock absorbers. I'm talking about a drift boat style that is called a skiff. It just means it has a low bow and stern and low gunnels. 
These boats are for flat water, no rapids, mellow, easy rowing. They're really nice to fish out of. There's tons of middle ground out there between dory and skiff style boats though. So if you wanna go with a hard boat, you're gonna have to poke around and see what's out there and see what's right for you and the water that you're gonna be rowing on. Excuse me, on which you will be rowing. Before we wrap this up, it's important for you to know that there is no perfect boat. You should get a boat that's going to suit you best, then give into the natural progression of things and start assembling your fleet of more boats. That's about it. Thanks for watching another huge fly fisherman video. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, go floating and stay huge. Don't be a Dan. Stay out of higher fast water.